Well, hello, hello, everyone. It's Plagin here. For those of you who uh, just watch me on YouTube and stuff, I've been away for a while. I've been playing Helldivers quite a lot. I'm, as you can see, level 50. And uh, this game is consuming my entire life. And Liberty's enemies march ever closer. As he says. So we need to uh, push back the automatons and the bugs here and whatnot. But I am a filthy troll who likes to wander into the Steam discussions. And there, I've seen people like just complaining and complaining about how oh, the game's impossible now and uh, held ever so hard and yada yada. And just people complaining to be complaining, you know. Um, in the game, there's this uh, weapon called the Railgun. We can look at the stratagems over here. And it used to be really good before they nerfed it. I mean, it's still really good, but people are, uh, well, whiners. So this is the Railgun. It's like a, a weapon you can use to destroy heavy armored targets, right? Now, I personally have uh, used the railgun before, and I'll get into that a little bit here as we start up a mission. But first, let's go to our options here. Uh, we're going to turn off uh, matchmaking so I can solo Helldivers and kind of show you all what I'm doing here. Also, as you can see, I have maxed out everything except for the uh, special credits and medals, but uh, I'm just waiting for more stuff to drop so I can purchase it right away. So, yeah, today in every sector in the I'm going to be playing over here the alien in menace. Fenrir Sector. And we're going to be doing a mission. I think we'll be doing, let's see, not that one. Let's, let's do an egg popping mission here, right right, right there. I need to destroy the because That one is just an event thing. It's not a real good milestone of how well you are. And this one is just a kill terminans, which is really easy. You can just pop down a bunch of turrets and stuff or whatnot. But the real milestone here is this. I think is great and funnily enough I watched someone else be like this is how you solo Helldivers and they were playing a, an extermination mission which was just hilarious because they're the easiest missions all you have to do is you know secure one spot and run around you don't have to complete objectives and you know punch in codes while you're doing stuff so let's jump in here and I'll talk about my loadout and how we're gonna do this Helldivers thing. So if you're actually just interested in the gameplay, you might want to just skip ahead a little bit here and I'm gonna explain some stuff. So as you can see right now, I'm on suicide mission, which is actually not what I want to do. Sorry, I'm playing Helldivers. I usually just play on uh, mission preparation aborted. suicide mission difficulty, which is difficulty seven because it's, it's funner. You know, I don't need uh, that many medals or like materials and stuff so i just go for that one because it's simpler all right here we go there's an egg one. all right so now we're on hell dive as you can see up. we'll go ahead and launch that and uh let's jump in the hell pod and we'll uh, go over our our kit here so as i was saying pre-patch of the railgun i was using the railgun and uh it was a thing yeah it was okay but i didn't really like it too much so even prior to the patch, I had started using the arc thrower weapon, and I have not looked back since. It's been great. And then post patch, after they patched the railgun to nerf it a little bit, mm, still using this kit. So this is what I run with pretty much on any mission other than defensive missions. Um, it is a let's go into this. It's an orbital rail cannon strike, unlimited uses. Uh, immediate call in has a long cooldown. It's really good against big targets, which we'll be mainly using on the Bile Titans. Then I have the Orbital Precision Strike, which has a very quick cooldown time, very fast call in, and unlimited uses. I then got the Shield Backpack, give me a little bit more defense against the bugs who might get too close. We then have the Arc Thrower, which will arc and kill all of our, our enemies, which is a really good weapon uh, for small and medium-sized targets, and even chargers, other than Bile Titans. The Bile Titans are a little bit tricky to do with. I think you need like 20 shots to kill a Bile Titan with this, so it's not ideal. And then of course we have our, uh, if I hit back here, we have our Stratagem Booster, which is a uh, stamina increase, allows me to uh, recover stamina quicker and increases my capacity. 
I would really like to have uh, Vitality Enhancement and Hell Pod Space Optimization, which uh, this one gives more ammo, grenades, and stems, just fully stocked when you start out. And then this one, uh, you resist injury better, which is also kind of important, but I'm a, I'm a fast guy. So if we go out of here, we go to our equipment. You can see I'm running a, a light armor set here. The lightest set, because we have better speed, stamina regen, we don't have many armor. Uh, we also have reduces the range at which enemies can detect me, and placed markers on the map, generate scans, so I can kind of see where stuff is at. Uh, as for my weapons, we have the breaker shotgun, which was nerfed in the patch as well. They lowered the uh, amount of bullets in the magazine, and also uh, added the recoil. However, I did not even notice the change. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that there was a nerf, and uh, I was using the breaker, and it was the same exact thing. So, it, it's fine for me. I then have the Senator Magnum here because I really like it as you can fire around and reload without wasting any ammunition. And then of course I have my impact grenades because uh, they're, they're the best grenades. You can throw them and they'll hit and destroy what you're looking at. Uh, they are a little tricky when you're doing bug holes or bot and factories and stuff. Uh, those are kind of my things there. So we're running a really fast kit with uh, a decent amount of play here. And so this is how we're gonna do hell dive. I should mention, I don't really verse bots very much, but this kit is okay for bots. You may want to switch up the stratagems, but the arc thrower is decent with it. I think it can like shoot and kill a hulk in six shots, roughly. So it's really good, but uh, I mainly go bugs because they're more, they're just much more satisfying to kill than the automatons. So terminids are what I focus on and how I play, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna say is when you land, kind of pick a, a nice little spot that's not near bugs, and then immediately call in stratagems, things there. Oh, looks like we've got a hell bomb here we can use to do stuff. So the next thing I'm gonna say is what you wanna do or going directly into an objective. You can kind of look around and see if there's any stalker nests nearby your objective, which it doesn't look like there's any here, but I can tell immediately. So we don't have to worry about stalkers right now, but if you do see a stalker nest, you can usually like ping them and it'll like give you a nice little thing here to see. So I think Let's see. I think I want to go there because I want to pick up some extra stems and grenades and stuff. So I have full capacity of those. What we're going to do, arc thrower. We're going to set it to range. Start clapping them. We want to kill them as quickly as possible, and especially the smaller ones. The big ones we do not care too much about. Because that's going to happen. He's going to call for a bug breach. So I'm gonna ignore the uh, the charger. Focus on these guys. Clear them up so they're not inconveniencing me. Once I hear the ground rumbling, feel the shake, I'm gonna just. Oop. He decided to spin around on me there. I wanna keep away from the hunters, the little ones with the orange wings. Let's go ahead and uh, back up a little bit here. And when we have time, we're just gonna shoot a couple into the charger there. Let's go back over here quick. Hard to see over that hump in the ground cause that a crater, so we're gonna dodge out of the way of that. Get up, dodge out of the way of the charger. How'd you like to taste the freedom? And you're gonna notice that my shotgun is basically only ever used when a hunter gets in my face. Very easy to just dodge out of the way of the charger. It's kind of annoying me now though, so I'm gonna put him down. Small ones out of the way. All right, there we go. Charger's dead. Like I said, the uh, arc throw is really good against everything except for the vile titans. Uh, they do get a little bit crazy. Looks like we have. Oh nope, not yet. I'm gonna say it looks like we have the uh, the meteor swarm coming in, but not quite yet. As you can see, the arc throw just kind of eats everything up. 
The one problem it has is once there's a bunch of corpses littering the ground, it does become hard to get a line of sight to your target. And the Arthur will go through at least one enemy and kill whatever's behind it. So you also got to be careful if you have teammates. Uh, so you don't kill and hit them. But uh, Meteor Swarm's incoming now, so we're just going to have to be careful. I'm going to do that real quick. Let's grab what we can. Open this up. Uh, requisition slips. Don't care. All right, so we're basically amped up with everything. And we're just going to wait this uh, Meteor Storm out. Before we head in, because I don't want to get struck while running away from enemies that I'm kiting around. And uh, you notice my strategy is to basically run away a lot. You want to keep away from the enemy while being able to still do damage to them. It's uh, kind of the goal there. So we're going to go here, and I'm going to start killing this guy. Shots. Let's walk away here. Oh, pop my shield. Almost dead anyway. With the arc thrower, if you get a, a decent like area on it, you can actually wear off the armor on the uh, charger's leg a bit. Kind of hard to do. You have to be really close and also kind of aim towards that leg the arc kind of inconsistent i'm gonna switch the shotgun here put the hunters down we're gonna call in an orbital right on that area there and i'm gonna start putting down the rest of these guys what's really nice about the shield is you can survive the uh the bile from those guys and now for the railgun strike let's go right, he got hit but it's not dead they never die in one hit for me we're gonna kite it around. Wait until it does that. Like I said, the arc is not very good against this guy. We're gonna go underneath him where it's relatively safe. Make him turn so I can get a couple of free shots on him here. And there he goes. So, got some more people coming. Let's go ahead and put them down. And dodge out of the way of the charger. You gotta take a moment to turn around so we can clean up some of the smaller bugs. And then turn back to focus on him. Hmm. Alright. So we cleared out some more. It wasn't ideal. I think we uh, ended up having a patrol coming around here. But Taking we're gonna go east. here now. 100 meters. Pop some of those eggs. One thing to note is the longer you take in a mission, the uh, deadlier it becomes because the more strong enemies will spawn to kill you and all that good jazz. So real quick, we're going to... Almost missed that guy there. Before we go for the eggs... Oh, well, I was going to take that out, but uh, thanks, the meteor got it for me. Let's get the small guys before they get too close to me. One's behind me, yep. Go ahead and close up this bug hole here, and then we'll focus on the eggs. Rolling grenade! Oh, I think I see another one right there. Yep. The one thing about the arc thrower is it's not very good at close range. So if you uh, have an enemy right up in your face, uh, that's about the shortest distance you're going to be able to do against it. I think I saw another one there. Yep. Ooh, that helped me out a bit. As you can see, the Meteor Swarm has actually been helping me destroy some of these eggs. So that's really nice. Now, you could use grenades or other stuff to destroy these, but I just stick to my primary. If I need ammunition, I can get more ammunition. It's not a big deal. Oh, hello there. We're going to go this way. Because there's only eight more left, and I think they were just around this corner. Right there. Ah, shit. Well, I'm going to throw a grenade at this guy. Because the bile spewers die in one hit from an impact grenade. Alright. 
I'm gonna charge up here real quick. Here you go. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, we're done. Let's go. The thing is, you don't need to fight everything. You can just run away. Which is what we're gonna do right now. Because with the exception of, uh... Vile Titans or Chargers or the Stalkers. It's actually very easy to run away. Dropping a pin, northeast. So I'm going to mark meters. that. We're going to ignore this heavy nest because I do not want to deal with it. And we're going to keep running. Oh, look, we got our uh, super rare samples here. The way you can tell is that it is uh, surrounded here. I mean, not surrounded. It's got the. Uh, it's like a meteorite impacted, right? So we could pick these up if we wanted. Like I said, I'm maxed on them. Um, so I'm not going to, just because it's... It's going to be one more thing that I'm going to drop and then have to pick up if I die. So we're not going to deal with that. All right. We're going to get this uh, radio tower up. Not that we need the experience points or anything, but the reason is because I want to know if there's any stalker nests and stuff ahead of us. So... Oop. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, shit. Hello. Goodbye. Let's kill a little one so they can't call for reinforcements here. One thing you can do with the Bile Titan is uh, you can use its bile to actually kill uh, chargers and stuff if you manage to place a charger in front of it where it would normally spit bile, you know? Really nice. Luckily, I think our Bile Titan is a little bit confused here, so that's good. A few more shots should get him. Yep, he's dead. Okay. I think our uh, Charger friend over there is also a little bit done locked. Good for us. Uh, we're going to hit this real quick. I'm going to check the map, make sure nothing's close. Okay. And while we're waiting for the antenna to extend... Kill the charger and then throw in a resupply. Got some enemies coming from over there. Let's kill them as quickly as possible. That's why this uh, archer was really nice because you can really get the enemies who are uh, really small little patrols like that and just nuke them down. I'm gonna even go to top my health off. Do that. All right, how are we looking? We need to... Oh, we don't even have to rotate it. Perfect. Love when marriage happens. Okay, so that's not ideal. We have multiple stalker nests up here. So we're going to go and deal with those first of all. So I'm going to bring out my shotgun because the Arthur is not that great against stalkers. It takes way too long to kill them and they're way too fast. So... You can see right there, Stalker's moving towards us. We're going to ignore it for right now and then start up in the fire. And it's dead. Enemy tactical asset within range. All right. So we're going to lob a hole in, uh, grenade in here. Close that one up. Then I'm going to go to the one that's north as well. Because that one is, I think, still in range of me getting... Stalker to spawn and come at me, which I do not want. So we're gonna kill that one, then we're gonna double back and go down to the south to kill that over there. You can see the stalker moving right there. A little bit hard to see in the snow, but still there. Actually surprised that took so few shots. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. Okay. I could also use the orbital strike to take this down if I had to. Uh, we don't need to do that right now, though, so we're going to lob one in there and head back to our little area here. All right, so additionally, if you do need to, you can go to one of the uh, little like areas over there to get more ammunition and whatnot. Um, if you're running low, I find that that helps out. We're going to slow down to a walk here so I can regen some stamina. So the hardest part of the mission is going to be our uh, escape, because we actually have to stay within a certain area while doing that. I'm going to go around that. I don't want to climb up here. There we 
over there as a patrol, but I think we can avoid them if we continue moving on. Although they might hear us when we get closer to these guys. Oh look, 12 of the eggs have already been taken out. Okay, let's avoid that guy. Oop, I think I might have dodged a little bit too soon there, but... Oh, oh! That guy snuck right up on me. I think it didn't help that the uh, charger happened to... Ugh. Oh baby! Point me to the enemy. Grab the shield first, then our arc thrower. Hey, don't do that. Get my precision strike. I'm gonna throw it in there because that looks like where it's coming from. Oh, I got two bug holes on me. Okay. Well, I got ten with that. That's nice. I thought that was the uh, eggs got destroyed there from the things, but nope, no such luck. With the commanders here, the group commanders, you want to kind of aim at the head to pop it off with the uh, arc thrower. People always say to shoot the legs first, so that way when they're headless, they still move around, but the arc thrower I find going to the heads easy because it just takes like two or three shots. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to throw a grenade and miss, of course, because that's how that works. <laughs> Shit. All right. I'm going to ignore those guys for right now. Come in here. Throw that in there. That guy's dead. Okay. All right, we're going to go. Luckily, that nest only had 31 to kill there. So we're going to keep going. And uh, I'm going to make my way away from those guys. So when it comes to higher level missions, it's really all about uh, resource management and avoidance of enemies you don't really have to fight. Also, I'm going to mark the map to get that stalker nest next. And there's a hell bomb right there. Next to that dead charger. All right. In fact, I might go over here real quick. Get these guys out. Loot the stuff that they got to hide. Have a taste of democracy. A lot more in that little hole than I thought it was going to be. Okay, should be all of them. Pick up any ammo and grenades that they have. I was looking for stims, but there they are. Nice. Let's grab all of those. All right, we got locked and loaded again. Like I said, those things are very good for uh, just finding a little bit of what you need, and then take them in and uh, go in. We're gonna be passing by that uh, pirate broadcast thing. I'm not going to destroy it, but if you wanted to, I'm pretty sure you can destroy it with things like an auto cannon from a range or an anti-tank. Uh, you can even just lob an impact grenade and hit it uh, to destroy it from a, a distance. So if you want to, you don't have to necessarily go and interact with the terminal and shut it down that way. You can just blow it up, which is what I do. There we go. We got a stalker right there. You can see, oh, two stalkers. That's going to be a bit of a hit. All right, we managed to somehow deal with them with one clip. Let's we'll see if we can get in there and close those holes before they get any more spawned. First hole done. Second hole sealed. Perfect. All right, so now we've got to avoid getting hit by the uh, meteors coming down. If you're observant, you'll notice the... Uh, area they're going to impact kind of lights up a little bit if they're nearby. Sometimes anyway. Sometimes you're just unlucky and just get wrecked out of nowhere. But uh, kind of depends. Uh, 
All right. Also, the way I went around that way was because the back is right here, so it's just nearby. Objective near your position. Do you want to go in here? Close up this hole. Oops, I still have my shotgun out. That's my bad. Hey, no calling for backup. Uh, Skirt around this side. Please! Oh my god, I actually closed it. Nice. Sometimes that works, sometimes it does not. Let's switch to our shotgun real quick. Ooh! I don't know how I live! Okay. That's fair. All right. So, come over here. Joining the fray. I'm going to throw that down right there. Ooh, nice. It took the charger down. All right. So we're going to try to get our stuff back real quick. Fuck. The damn files, viewers. Getting me bodied in there. Okay. Hopefully it'll put me down right here. Excellent. Right where my stuff should be. I'm going to have to scramble and pick it up, though. Grab that. And grab that. And dodge. Woohoo! Okay. I'm going to throw a grenade over here. Get rid of those bile skewers. Because they're just little bastards. I'm going to throw in a railgun strike just to kill that uh, charger. Because things are getting a little bit messy right now. Ideally, you don't want to. You want to save those for the bile titans. But... Please. Thank you. I know there's one behind me, but, uh... Get some! Get some! There it is. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. Kobe! Okay, got that. Okay, those guys are dead. Avoid that spit stuff. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, definitely gotta go because of that guy right there. Oh, I'm gonna die. Well, that's less than ideal. Heal me! Get back inside the area. Okay. So, we're gonna pop down right here next to the eggs. I'm gonna shoot the last one we need and head to evac. Ready to liberate. Let's go. We're gonna head to evac now. I'm not gonna go back for my stuff because I can call it in. We're just gonna run. And I'm gonna ready up my stuff here. Calling supplies here too. Okay. Check the area. It is secure. I'm gonna pick up my stuff before calling in the bird. And we just gotta survive and we're out. Like it's so easy. Okay. I'm gonna grab from the back. It's easier to get the front ones. Okay. I'm gonna keep the map open. We're going to look and see where the enemies are coming from. So it's easier to deal with them. Great out. And precision strike right there. Let's go. Can you get away? That's a Vile Titan. Uh, we have one second. Okay. Go. 
<gasps> Did it one shot it? Nice. Good luck. The name of the game for evac is just survive. Oh, really don't want to be these bushes. Fucker hurt my arm. How dare he? Oh, this is bad. Can I please move? Oh, yeah, that's about right. Wow, that abort, like, happened immediately. Usually gives you, like, 16 seconds or so, so you can redeploy. But, uh, apparently not. Not right now, anyway. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back and get our stuff. But, uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Oh, I lost! Well, you still won, because really all we have to do is complete the objective. We don't have to extract... But that was Helldivers uh, difficulty. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it can be a bit rough. Extract is definitely the hardest part. If I would have made a few less careless mistakes at the end um, and not lost as many lives, it would have been probably better there. But, uh, yeah, getting stuck with the charger near those thorny bushes that slow you down right there at the end really kind of messed me up, I think. But, uh... Yeah, we made some mistakes, but in the end we won. Eldavers was finished. So, very we possible, very easy scourge. to beat it, to be honest. Um, if we really wanted to. I think the next one is uh, it's Eradication, if I wanted to do that. But, oh, it's a Blitz, so... Roughly the same, but uh, you're just blowing up bung holes, which is... Kind of easier, actually. But yeah, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope that helps you understand how to do Eldivers difficulty a little more. The tactic actually works for any difficulty, so if you're struggling, always feel free to run away. You don't have to stay and fight everything, especially if you're getting overwhelmed. You know, you can uh, stay there and defend an area if you have to, but never hesitate to run away if you need to, especially if you're getting overwhelmed, if things are swarming in from all sides. Unless it's a defense mission or an evac, then you're kind of screwed. But uh, you can always come back to an objective later. So that's how you do it. Thank you all for watching. And uh, bye for now.